guys, it's me Jade, and today I'm going to be making a video of what you should bring when you go fishing on a fishing trip. Before we start, I would like to apologize for all the noise in the background. I'm currently camping with my family, and my brother won't be quiet. Okay. Um, okay, so let's get started. First of all, if you're going on a fishing trip, you need either a hand line or a rod to physically go fishing. Yeah. You also need needle nose pliers. You need needle nose pliers because sometimes fish swallow the hook and if they have teeth or it's so deep down there, you can't get your fingers down in there. So you use the needle nose pliers to pull the hook out. Or if you don't like handling fish and getting the hook out by yourselves, you can use the needle pliers just to get the hook out. Okay. Next. Hooks. Hooks and um extra hooks. I have um and the hooks depend on what you're fishing for. If you're fishing for small fish, use small hooks. If you're fishing for big fish, use big hooks like this. Um, and if you're, like, fishing for, like, both, you might as well use bigger hooks. So, they're easier to get out. Mine are Matt Zero America hooks. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. I already, I already used, like, two of them. Oh. Because we went fishing yesterday. It didn't turn out to be good. See, I have a band-aid on my phone. <laughs> and I got burnt with the line. Um, if you're fishing, well, this is optional, but depending on where you're fishing, if you're fishing in, like, a small lake, you might want to use this. If there's, like, big bass in a small lake, you probably want a bobber just to say when fish are biting and if fish are going near your hook and stuff. But if you don't see, this is very bright colored. So the fish actually go up to the bobber, not to the hook. Usually when I use this, so I don't use it that much. But if you don't want the fish to see your bobber, you just don't use it or you get the camouflaged or dark colored one. When going fishing, like deep sea fishing, you might need a heavier weight but if you're just going in a lake, but you want to get your stuff down to the bottom, you need a lighter weight. Um, it all depends on what, what kind of water you're fishing in. So, I lost all of my little circle weights. And yesterday, we were using a nut to fish. And a fish swallowed the hook. And we forgot to take the weight off. And we cut the fish to cu cut the hook. And the weight went with it. So we lost the weight. Now we're using this big washer with a hole in it. All you really need is like um like a screw or something that's heavy that can like sink down to the bottom. Like um bolts and screws and stuff will work if you just tie the string to the top where the, where it goes wider. But um you can also use anything that has a hole in the middle of it and is like metal heavy. What else? If you're fishing for um, bigger fish, you'll probably want fake like worms or fake little fish or lures, um, because bigger fish will go for the smaller fish. And if you're fishing for smaller fish, you want a smaller one. Um, around where I live. We, there's not really big fish, so I have this really small worm. And they still sometimes don't bite it because it's too big. So. so we have this kind, these little rubber silicone worms, or we have fish eyes. You, there's... There's an eye on a little orange thing, which looks like a baby fish, but then it has a hook come out of it, so when the fish go to bite it, they bite the hook too, and they get hooked. 
Um, oh, yeah. Gloves. You need gloves for when you're handling the fish. You really only need one because you hold the fishing line with one hand, then you hold the fish with the other, and then you get the hook out. But, um, these are for, like, um, fire pits and, like, picking up wood and stuff. You need, like, thick gloves, kind of like this, but we lost our other ones. They were, like, black, and we can't find them. So you just need thick gloves that, that, like, because the fish are slippery, you need something that can grip the fish. Um, I think that's about it. Oh. To hold all your fishing stuff in, you need a little mini tackle box like this. Mine's like rusted. Or you need, this is what I've been putting all the stuff into. Okay. A little Tupperware container that you put like food in that has a lid and you just put the lid on. Get your gloves, you know those pliers, your rod, and you go fishing. Happy casting. <laughs> Happy casting. Bye.